<laughs> Hello. Hello. How are you? Look at this. Oh, hey, that's good. Woman for Pete. Well, I should have that. We're live. We're, we're live. live now. We're, we're back. In, no, we're not live. We're not live. Oh. I'm joking. Oh. <laughs> My name is Dorothy, and uh, this is my nephew. Oh, <laughs> screw it up. <laughs> I know I was wrong. I even stuttered before I even said it. I'm Dorothy, and this is my grandson, Mike Schmoop. Long-term care uh, was and continues to be a really big issue uh, for me and my family. My grandmother, uh, Dorothy, she's 101. Going up, be 102 in March. In March. Yeah, it's getting there. So you have been married twice. In my first love with my first husband. Yep. And it's Dora, George. Yep. He had Crohn's disease. And you got remarried when you were 86. <laughs> Did I? David was the second husband. Right. And uh, we were married 12 years. I took care of a lot of his illness. Yeah. My grandmother got remarried when she was 86, uh, moved out of her retirement community to a condo, and then back into a retirement community when her second husband, uh, Dave, got sick. And he said he wondered what he'd do and he, mm -hmm. if he didn't have me. He got a good nurse. <laughs> I should have charged him. <laughs> Married a nurse. <laughs> Why did you decide to be a nurse? I like to take care of people. And I've nursed until all yeah. my life. Uh, until um, uh, 1963, I had to retire then. It's hard as you get older and as you retire, and particularly as you reach uh, an older age. I used to fall a lot. Yeah. And uh, that's not good, but I'm not going to say anything more about that because I'm not going to fall anymore, I don't <laughs> think. <laughs> as she's gotten older, she's had struggles, and um, she's had falls and she's had illnesses and she's been admitted to the hospital and, and I've been one of the family members who's been there to help her in those times of need. We all kind of have to step up and, and help her out. You add up what it's costing me to live here. Right. Um, and I have retirement, Social Security, savings that I had at one time. Yeah. And even George had another policy. It's all gone. Yeah. It's all been used up already. What she's able to get in terms of care from Medicare, Social Security, and what our family can help provide uh, to her, kind of bring together from different family members is really critical uh, because she really doesn't have anything left. So by 2030, so in almost 10 years, America's gonna have more older people than younger people. You bet they are. I'm glad to hear what Pete's thinking about doing because this is needed. Yeah. We have people here, look at me for crying out loud, living to be 102. <laughs> Gee whiz. Pete's plan is really special because uh, it creates a national system uh, that helps all Americans plan for long-term care. I like what Pete's saying. Yeah. How he's presenting it. More home care helpers making a really good wage, more affordable prescription drugs, a stronger Medicare, a stronger and paid for Social Security, all of those things are gonna make older Americans retire with dignity and just have better, more full lives. But you're not getting married a third time, right? Oh no, I've decided that that's enough. Two times is enough. Two times is good. Yeah, yeah. I don't want, I'll take care of myself right now. <laughs> Grammar? Yes? Thank you oh, for you're sitting welcome. down Sweet with me. Heart. We're gonna do a fist bump, so you just do this. You bet Pssh. we are. Remember how we used to do something and clap our hands? You, you... She's just a hoot. She has great stories. She's a huge influence in my life, and I'm really blessed that she's a part of it. I think Pete's the one guy that will do it. I think so, too. I do, too. Yeah.